Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have so many things to share with you guys. I wanted to get this video done because it is already September what? I don't even know. To me, it feels like it's December already. Time is flying and I just impromptu got on here, no makeup on. I'm really flushed. I just got home from running some errands, picking a couple things up. And I was like, you know what? I need to film this today and get this video up or I'm never going to because fall is coming. I have so much fall content that I want to share with you guys. And I was thinking of splitting this up between um, like a barn sale I went to, a antique haul, a Goodwill haul. No, no, no. We're just doing everything all at once. I'm using a lot of hands. I am so excited about these finds. I think you guys are gonna be like, you're gonna love these things just as much as I do. So we're gonna get right into this. There's a lot, but I could do a bunch of videos it would probably be better for my channel, but I wanna get this video up to you so that I can start posting some fall content. So a lot of this stuff in this video is very cozy and feels like fall, and I'm gonna say it all fall season, but you do not have to bring home a million pumpkins to make your house feel cozy for fall. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, but I plan on bringing in like a lot of cozy textures and warm tones and woods and stuff into my fall decorating so that it's not just like pumpkins everywhere if you know what I mean. So a lot of this stuff feels very fall-like to me so I'm very very excited. Are you ready? I'm done rambling. I don't think you're ready so I don't even know what to start with guys. All right, we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna go in no particular order. We're just gonna wing it. First, I have to show you these guys. I was on my way to a barn sale near me and there was a yard sale on the way. So I stopped there and I got these adorable, like galvanized planters. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to them. If I eventually get sick of them, I can spray paint them or whatever. Um, they all have holes in the back here, so you could like hang them on a wall. I will probably just stand them. They come in a set of three in all varying heights. Let me see if I can hold all of these at once. How stinking cute are these? I got all three for $10 at a yard sale. Like this one even has little eyebrows cut out. I mean, I'm sorry, eyelashes. <laughs> I love these. I think they are so darling and these will definitely be incorporated in my Halloween decor. Those are just a little bit too spooky to put out right now, but I cannot wait to put them out soon. Um, I guess I will just stay on the trend of pumpkins. I found this yesterday for $4 at a um, local like, it's like an ARC thrift store. I don't know if you guys have those near you, um, but I got this and I'm probably gonna spray paint this white or do like a really nice neutral color on this. I think at some point it had like a candle or something in it, but it's just fine. And for $4 for a pumpkin this large, right now they're, all astronomically priced in my opinion so to find one at a thrift store like this to do a DIY on I thought was pretty affordable okay let me do this little section so I stopped at an antique store local to me recently and um, I'm also gonna insert a picture of this um, like a hope chest Maybe we can all do some convincing to Nick, my husband, but I I couldn't get that great of a picture because the sunlight was coming in through the window, but I want this hope chest so bad for the end of our bed. It's beautiful. 
I love it so much. Let me know your opinion of it down below, but I really want that. And at that same antique store, I found these gorgeous amber bottles. I already have a collection of Clorox amber bottles that I think I'm going to display out and about and not like I plan to put them in my laundry room, but I think I'm gonna put them out somewhere else, like maybe in my hutch, because this color for the fall with like some dried stems would look so beautiful. He charged me, I think $2 a piece for the bigger ones. So got one, two, three, which for the, um, the style that these are and for them to be at an antique store, for two bucks a piece is pretty good and then I got these little babies each for a dollar a piece so I cleaned them out really good they've been sitting out drying next to my sink getting ready for decorating for fall so I'm excited to incorporate that gorgeous amber color in and when I was there I also picked up this gorgeous iron um, it's like a really heavy cast iron, old iron. I paid 10 bucks for this and I have it displayed outside on my front porch. Um, if you watched my front porch decorate with me video, I have a white one out there. I don't know if I included that in that video, but I put a white one out there and now I have my black one. So I love this super heavy and just beautiful. These are great for like door stops stick them in a laundry room for like cute decor. I love those. Up next, I'm gonna show you my finds from today. I popped into a Goodwill. I was right down the street from one, so I stopped at one. And I got this set of three. If I find this china, I usually always buy it because it is my favorite and I love bowls and it's hard for me to find bowls, but this is that I guess it's CAC China. I have a couple pieces of this already, but this is like restaurant wear. Like when I go to restaurants and I love their dishes, I will literally like pick them up while I'm eating and I'm like, what is this brand? I wanna put you in my purse and take it home with me. But um, I always see this brand when I'm out to eat at restaurants and stuff. So I picked up this bowl. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, this bottom bowl is different than the top two bowls. If you can tell, this is a different rim than this. So I didn't even look at the top two. Oh, it's also the same brand though. Cool, but yeah, I got this cute stack of three bowls. Love me some creamy white, off white bowls. Any dishes like this? which I have quite a few more to show you. I just love them, okay? I love them so much. So I got those today. I paid $3.49 for three of them, which I didn't think was a terrible price. And then I got this. This was $3.49. This is pottery and it's glazed and it's stinking adorable. Somebody made this and it looks like a berry basket or an apple basket, y'all. I am going to style this for the fall and put some fake apples in it or something. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It even has like the little, like, I'm dead. And I thought it was cool that it is stamped 1989 NE. So maybe somebody made this in like their pottery class or something, I don't know. It's from 1989. And all I know is I'm gonna cherish this thing because this is so cute. <laughs> so at this same Goodwill today, I can't even explain my excitement about this. I have been looking at these pillows from Target for like a month or two. If you watch my fall Target shop with me, I show these pillows and I talk about how I was like swooning over them, but I think they're like 20, $25 a piece. Can we just have a moment of silence? $3.49 a piece I paid for these. Are you kidding me? 
who donates this stuff? I know they're used because I know Target has been getting some like overstock to the Goodwill, but these are definitely used. I can see like some discoloration on them and some dog hair. So they do have a cover that zips right on off and I can wash it. I've been looking at these for my front porch and who the heck wants to spend $50 on two pillows for their front porch? Not me. So I am so glad that I held out and I got these for $3.49 a piece. I'm dead. Like, I can't even. I can't even. Somebody donated those. Wild. Absolutely wild. Okay. On another Goodwill trip, I got this um, for $3.49. It's a cute little white bowl. <laughs> you know me and my bowls. But I heard, like, I heard anything that's stamped like USA China is great quality and old. So y'all will have to let me know. Tepco China USA. It's just like a creamy white pottery piece. And I believe green was half off this day. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was half off the day that I got this. So I love her. She's very cute. Um, there's so many favorites in front of me. I'm just, we're going to hold off on showing those because they're really good. Um, okay. This is from another day. This is what I mean. Like I have been hoarding things in piles in my dining room. Like, okay, I'm going to share this in a big Goodwill haul. I'm going to share this in a big antique haul. It's all coming at you today. Okay. So this this piece is fantastic would you know i'm gonna let you know i paid 30 dollars for her she's a vintage stoneware pitcher i love this thing it is so pretty i actually have one that looks just like this without the blue but i thought the blue was really different and pretty for fall like how cute is this you guys. I love her. So I paid 30 bucks for her. And do you know that I held on to this piece for like half an hour when I was at an antique store. And right before I left, I put it back. I was like, I don't need it. I thought about it for a week. <laughs> typical, typical. And went back and it was still there. So I'm very happy about this piece. I will cherish her. Love her. 30 bucks. And then that same day, I went to, honestly, I don't even know where I got this. Hold up. I don't know where I got this, but um, I paid $2 for it. Oh, this was at a thrift store. This was at one of those ARC thrift stores. But it's that, um, this is Warwick, China. Made for Strawbridge and... I don't know what that what that says it looks like clothing but it's definitely not I don't know but I got this for two dollars I have been finding these all over the place and adding them into my stacks of dishes with the green rim around them and I love them and then I stopped in a Habitat for Humanity honestly like a month ago. I forget why I was in the area for this, but I don't have a good Habitat for Humanity near me. So when I get down that way, I always stop. And I found a set of one, two, three, four, five Homer Laughlin dishes. They're all labeled Homer Laughlin China. They're baby. And at this same Habitat for Humanity, is where I got my other stack of Homer Laughlin. And I think these are the same size. Let me see. Just kidding, no, they're not. They're a little bit smaller. Because I don't know if you guys remember, I shared it in a haul a long time ago where I got a stack of Homer Laughlin china like this thick at Habitat for Humanity, and I paid like 50 cents a plate or something, but 
I don't remember how much I was charged for these. I think I paid like $3 for all five, maybe even less than that. But if I find Homer Laughlin plates or anything of that nature, I buy them because who doesn't love just like a creamy stack of plates? You know? Moving right along. Should I share what I got at the barn sale or? All right, we'll do the barn sale first because you just, you're just gonna love what I got. I know it, it's so good. Okay, so I'm gonna insert a little clip here. So if you remember me sharing a local booth to me, her name is Ginger Sweet Gatherings. You can look her up online. You can look her up on Instagram. She has so many good pieces. Just look her up. You will love her stuff. Um, she has a booth at an antique store that's semi close to me. And she shared about this barn sale near my house. So I took the trek and me and Dominique, we took the trek and we went to this barn sale and you can see like all the different tents set up. People brought like a bunch of antique stuff there and I found some really cool pieces, things that I am so excited about that I'm gonna treasure for a long time. So from Carrie, so Carrie is the owner of Ginger Sweet Gatherings, the one that has the booth. She was all set up. I'm so glad she shared about this place because I really did get some good things. So she was set up at the barn sale and I got both of these, these like little stoneware bowls. These look like the giant ones that I collect. So to find like baby versions of them, love. So they were $5 a piece and I love them stacked. They're adorable. So I got those two from her. And then I got these green, are these green wood? Okay, no, these are Maddox American China, two little soap dishes. And seeing these stacked on my hutch, on my baker's rack, I love this stuff. So they're tiny, really small, and I love them. They were $8 a piece, so I got both of them. And then the last thing I got from her, this is unmarked, but it has some really nice crazing on the bottom, some pretty crazing on the side. Let me flip you around. My camera is sucking and it doesn't really wanna focus, but I got this little ironstone pitcher and she gave me the dry florals inside. So beautiful. I think this was like maybe $12. So really great price for a little ironstone pitcher. And that is all that I got from her booth. However, I did find some more things at the barn sale. So <laughs> let me show you. From one lady's little setup, I got both of these pieces and nothing was priced. So when I picked them up and I was like, oh, how much are you asking for these? And she was like, $5 a piece. When people tell me prices like that, my soul just like collapses. Do you know what I mean? Cause you're like, am I gonna get charged 65 or 40 cents? You never know, anywhere in between. So I picked up this gorgeous ironstone platter, semi-granite cook and Hancock, warranted copyright, has the lion on the back, and just a plain white platter. This detail is so good. It's kind of coming across on the camera. Sorry, it's not that great, but love her. $5 a piece. And then I've been loving collecting my vintage pig cutting boards. I have them layered on my coffee bar. I think this will be my third. I think I only have two up there. And he's so cute. 
I don't know what it is about these, but he is adorable. And $5, $5. I'm gonna save the best for last from the barn sale because I'm sure you saw it in my thumbnail, but you're gonna be shooketh. So then I'm browsing around and I love old clothes pins that look like this, like with this patina. They're like just so beautiful. So the guy has his table set up and I ask him how much for the clothes pins. He said everything on the table is $10 and the clothes pins include the basket. This is huge, okay? This thing is full of clothes pins. Like full. Some of them are like have the wire like I showed you. Some of them are like flatter. This is so stinking cute. He said he got this from an old woman's estate. It was all set up like this in her laundry room. And this is so cute to me. I am just obsessed with clothespins like this. If you stick them in like a clear glass jar with a lid, even to leave them in here is cute, but like a clear glass jar with a lid. Oh, I just love that. That look is so cute in a laundry room. So $10 I paid for this whole lot of clothes pins. And then last but not least from this barn sale, I did a little negotiating. I could tell the guy was not thrilled with me, but he had $65 on this piece. And I asked him if he would go down a little bit. He said, I know what I have. These go for over a hundred dollars on eBay. I said, sir, I know. I know I look like some child that's just like out here at the barn sale, but I also collect antiques. So I don't know if he was like trying to school me or what, but anyway, this was originally 65 and he told me he'd take 55. So I was sold. finally got my campfire marshmallows tin and I shared about this in a recent video so many of you were like hold out you will find one because there was one at a local antique store to me for like $130 I'm sure it's still there part of me still wants it whatever but I'm glad I held out because this one is gorgeous I could like see it from across the way and I was like She's mine. She's coming home with me today. So, so pretty. Love the patina on this one. It's really like chippy and rusted in some areas. And I was really hesitant about this, but I just thought how adorable will this look on like a cozy fall coffee bar? Um, even a Christmas coffee bar with like vintage Santa mugs on this. Those are the next things that I'm gonna hunt for to start a little collection of for Christmas. But I thought this would just look so cute and cozy for the season. Um, yeah, I just really, really love this. I'm so excited that I finally found one and this brings me a lot of joy. I don't know how like things like this bring me so much joy, like knickknacks and I don't know. Maybe that's like what hoarders also say, <laughs> uh, you know, like, <laughs> listen, listen, I know I show you guys a lot of stuff on my channel, but I have no problem getting rid of things at all. Like I cycle through decor, like nobody's business. Um, so I wouldn't classify myself as a hoarder, but I love to collect things, you know? So, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, today, you know what, hold on. That same day that I got the stuff at the barn sale, there was a yard sale on my way home. So I stopped and I got these three brass candlesticks. 
This style is like one of my favorites. I already have a set of six that are right up there. I will probably stick these in with. They are really dusty and need to be cleaned, but I got them for $2 for the set. And then we also, Dominique and I, we stopped at a little thrift shop on our way home and I got this platter and this like giant soap dish. I know it's like a serving dish, but it's like a giant dish. And I love the shape of these. This is a Homer Laughlin piece. And this one is unmarked, but I got each of them for $1. Round of applause, thank you. $1 each, so. And then, let me just show you this really quick. Did you see that like? <laughs> Um, I was just browsing along in the Goodwill one day. This Goodwill trip, I wasn't very successful, but I got this adorable paintbrush for $3.49. I don't know if this is vintage or if this is just like a style of a paintbrush, but I love brushes like this. And this will be going in my laundry room. And I got it for $3.49. Today, I stopped at an antique store. And the guy there is so sweet. I always shop in there. He knows that I love ironstone. And first I picked up this piece. This was um, $9. This is a Greenwood China, Trenton, New Jersey, small platter. So $9 for that. And then um, he saw me in the store and he was like, I have to show you this ironstone bowl that I found. And he said, when I picked it up, I actually thought that girl that comes to my antique store would love this. And what do you know? I did love it and I ended up buying it today. And you know what? I just got a bunch of bowls off of Facebook Marketplace from a lady, a bunch of ironstone bowls, but I love shopping at this man's antique store. He is so genuine and just like a nice person. He loves antiques. And I love supporting small businesses and antique stores and stuff like that because I have so much fun shopping in them. So if I pay a little bit more for some pieces, I don't feel bad because I know that I'm supporting his business and the stuff that he loves. So that's my little rant, but I did pay $16 for this. Um, it only has the marking three zero underneath. Um, I don't even think you'll be able to see it. It's like etched right up in here, but this thing is so cute. I love, love me some bowls like this. So paid $16 for that. And then he charged me $5 for this little baby stoneware bowl. So this looks just like the one that I got from Carrie except this one is glazed and this one is not. And this one has like some detail on it that I can't really make out. It almost looks like leaves and acorns. I don't know, but it's glazed on the inside. And I don't know what that says on the bottom, but so cute. And I figured I could stack all of these together now. So we got that. And then the last thing I got from him I am obsessed with. I actually walked out of the store and got in my car and I was like, you're going back in because I would have thought about this the whole way home. I know I would have. So I picked up this adorable pumpkin pie dish for the fall. How stinking cute is this? Like in a hutch. I looked this up on eBay as well. Um, by the time I paid for shipping, it would have been $15. So that's what I paid for it. You can look them up if you'd like, because this is just so stinking cute. If you want to look it up, it's the Country Harvest Pumpkin Pie Pie Dish. This one says 1983 Royal China Co. Um, oh my God, I didn't even read this. This Royal China Ceramic Pie Baker has been crafted of the highest grade ironstone for durability to give you years of baking pleasure. <laughs> Are you kidding? Guys, this is a piece of ironstone. Oh my God, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead today. 
This is so cute. I really hope that you can feel my excitement through YouTube because this is like my favorite fall piece of all time. And I cannot wait to display this. Imagine this like, oh my God, I have so many ideas. I just have so many things I wanna share with you guys for the fall, so I'm dead about that, dead. Okay, let me take a little deep breath because the next things that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be irate about, so. Is irate the word? No, irate is like more angry. I'm gonna be like a wild woman, okay. So I have shared with you guys in the past that I have this wonderful follower and friend that I've known since I was a baby. She was my sister's best friend's mom. She's also a thrifter. She follows my channel. And on Sundays, she goes to Goodwill when it's dollar day and she shares things that she thinks that I would love. She always finds me something. So Unfortunately, I didn't get anything for a dollar because that's never my luck. I never find the dollar or the half off stuff at Goodwill. Um, but she picked me up a couple of things and I finally went and picked them up from her today. So I got this gorgeous cutting board. This was $4.49. This looks really old to me just based on the shape and the chunkiness. I'm going to clean this up really nice and see if I can... Um, just make the wood look a little bit more freshened up, but I thought this was really cute. It's a good size and it has like a nice chunky handle. I just love this. And then the next one I am hype about. So she only showed me this side. She showed me these like basically like this on the shelf and I was like, oh yes, like I love old wood cutting boards. I will take both of them. This one was $5.49. It's gorgeous, has nice patina, looks old. And then when she got home, she flipped it over and she said, I didn't even notice this on the back. Y'all. Now you can't really like read it too much in the middle, obviously, because of how worn and used it is. But are you kidding me? Look at the measuring spoons and this cup. Look at the writing. Oh. I just got to show you a close up so you can really appreciate this. Is this not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I'm leaving that up there for right now because I love it that much. Okay. And then also I've been having this idea. I bought some galvanized things to stick up on our siding on our backyard because we have like a really like nice backyard set up with our cabana. We sit out there all the time and watch TV at night and I bought this like sticky tack so I could hang these signs to my, I'll insert a clip, but I already have like a welcome sign that we nailed up because we had a piece of flashing under the window that was literally just like this metal sheet. So I got this welcome sign to cover that. And I thought it would be cute to put like different things around it in that area. So I found like a really pretty windmill that I'm considering picking up from Hobby Lobby. It's huge. And then I got like these little metal galvanized, like a chicken, a cow, a pig that I was gonna stick like under the welcome sign. I don't know, I'm just like loving farm animals, probably because I wanna live on land and basically be like a farm girl. <laughs> but anyway, um, so she showed this to me and it's probably not like typical to have like milk and dairy and like chicken stuff out on your back porch when you live in a cul-de-sac, but we will not live here forever and it's fine. Everything's fine. So she showed me this. This was $6.49. As you can see, this is a larger piece, but I think this is so cute. And I just want to put like all the galvanized things out back on our siding, but I don't want to put nails in the siding because obviously that's not ideal. And my husband would actually 
like take me out. Um, <laughs> but I thought this was really cute. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm gonna try to put it outside and see how it works. But I just figure like metals and galvanized things will last longer in the backyard, obviously, due to like rain and stuff. But when things are metal like this, they last longer. So we shall see what I end up doing with that. If I do find a spot for it, I will share it with you. Okay, and last but not least, I think that's all I have to share with you. Actually, I'm lying. I have two things in the car to share with you. I have a huge antique ladder and a old vintage iron ironing board that I bought the ironing board on a whim. I used to have one and I got rid of it and I've just been seeing them all over in like these gorgeous houses and I was like, I found one at a thrift store and I thought I needed it. So I'll share you a, I'll share a little clip with you of them in my trunk of my car and then I'll try to like involve them in an upcoming video. My ladder definitely will be in an upcoming video because I'm gonna stick all of my chunky knit all cozy blankets on it. I'm so excited. So let me insert a little clip of those here. Here is the gorgeous ladder. I can't wait to style this and share it with you guys in my fall video, but this thing is huge. And we have really tall ceilings in the dining room, so this is gonna fit perfectly. Okay, so last one, best one. This is definitely gonna be my most favorite find of this video. And when I saw this package on my porch, this was the main reason that I was like, you need to get on and film a video today. So this package has an amazing treasure in it. I'm so excited to open it. I'm so excited. I can't tell you how much I paid for it because if my husband's watching, it's gonna be bad news bears. I'm just kidding. I really am kidding when I say stuff like that. Nick doesn't ever like, he like makes sarcastic comments, but um, I am an independent woman who makes her own money. And if I wanna spend a lot of money on knickknacks, then that's what I do. Just cause I know there was a couple of women on my video that said something about like spending my husband's money. Excuse me? <laughs> no, 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 honey. Okay, so I am so excited to share this with you. And I thought it would be fun because this is going to be like so authentic, my reaction, because literally I just tore this box open. I have not seen it yet, except for the picture that the girl sent me on Instagram. So I found this girl on Instagram. I will leave her little handle in my description box, but she sells vintage things and you can pay her through PayPal or Venmo. She has like nights that she lists things. So she'll upload like a grouping of pieces and you have to comment sold and then you pay her yada yada so she always has dundee marmalade jars for sale i'm like where do you where are you finding these because i have been all over new jersey and i can't find not one and she apparently gets them from england so she shared one with me and I had to have it. I will not regret this. I wanna build my collection so bad. And honestly, if I found it in store, I probably would have paid the price that she charged me. So here we go. Packaging is really, really good as well. I pray it's in piece, in one piece. Almost said in pieces. <laughs> Anticipation killing you. Oh my god, I can see the bubble Shut up. Oh my good golly in heaven. 
<gasps> Stop. I think I'm gonna pass out. I'm a little lightheaded. I'm not even gonna laugh. Okay, you guys. <gasps> Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I know I said that about like every single thing that I showed you today, but this takes the cake. The crazing on this. <gasps> oh God, I just love it so much. <sighs> like, I hope you guys know that when I get off of here, like I'm just gonna be like this all night. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, I love this. <sighs> You're gonna go right in with your new baby brother. I'm dead. I am so excited about this. Oh my God, I gotta get off of here and message her and tell her that I came intact and that I'm stoked. <gasps> oh my God. When I'm excited, I tend to do this. So I apologize if you see me do that a lot in videos or like I cross my hands like this cause I'm just like so giddy. <laughs> that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching all of these treasures that I have collected. Honestly, I've had some of these sitting in my dining room waiting to share with you for like a month, maybe over a month, but I hope that you enjoyed. It was so much fun to spend the afternoon with you guys sharing all of these fun treasures. It brings me so much joy to share them with you guys because I know that you love seeing them as much as I love sharing them. Like, are we kidding with this pumpkin pie plate? I hope that you guys can find one on Etsy or something and order it because she's starling. So, oh my God. If you're new here, yes, I usually do get this excited over most of my antique finds, but today just really... Like this was the haul of all hauls for me. So I'm like extra excited. So, but if you are new here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and joining our little corner of the internet. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.